Hey, good morning everyone. I figured it was time for another little trip back in time here. It's been about a week, so let's uh, let's do it again. Uh, a couple things. This might take a little bit. The second thing I want to show you, uh, I want to go through kind of slow and look at stuff. But first of all, I thought I'd show you another... Uh, vintage uh, survivor build I picked up picked this up locally off of uh, Facebook marketplace my wife found it like uh, she always does she finds the good stuff but it's this uh, 57 Ford original issue the box is really nice really nice and I'll show you the car in a minute but Check out the box art on this. Is that cool or what? That red one is awesome. But anyway, this is how I found it. Just like this. Uh, I'll pick it up here in a minute, but I'll spin it around. The person, whoever, obviously was uh, doing the little Bondo work on it, customizing it. This thing comes with opening doors, I'm sure most of us know. It also came with a little upholstery uh, pad that you could, and it, on the back it had the uh, sizes. Hang on a sec here, maybe I have one I can show you. I think this and the 57 Chevy came with it. Uh, here's a Chevelle wagon. Hang on a sec, I'm, I'm looking. I'm looking. Anyway, kind of like uh, this. Came with the kit. This came with the original issue 64 Chevelle wagon. And it's a soft floor stuff, and you cut it out and you stuck it on the seats. I think that's what that is in there that came with this. And, uh, and it, this is a sandpaper that came with the kit. I assume and there's the putty he's got the toothpick in there for when he started working on it again obviously never happened uh, this is how I display it uh, I mean he didn't pay anything but you know, he glued the rear suspension on the front suspension on uh, yeah it was all glued together look at the interior he's got the let me see if I can get it anyway show it better and he's got the custom steering wheel on it and the little diamond diamond design in the console. You got the console in it and the piston head uh, gear shift knob and the you know I'm sorry and the four bucket seats console all the way back little doggy in the window you know that custom front end and the rear end on this was really cool. I was tempted to finish it but it's just too cool like it is so I'm leaving. It looks like he started here and he started here and he just put it in the box and that was the end of that uh, and the box came with some uh, you know leftover parts here which you know kind of cool there's a stock air cleaner and, and I don't see any trace of that upholstery stuff that's what I'm thinking he used it but there's another cool custom front in there and it was the seats and it would have had a pattern for that are, are the bucket seats there anyway let, let's move on here I got something I want to show you uh, I picked uh, the first batch of, of uh, vintage uh, survivor whatever Back then they were just a box of old models, probably in 80, oh man, 87, 88. Uh, I think at my first video or so I talked about a big box of models and supplies and parts I got for 50 bucks. And uh, these were in there. And uh, it's a rod and custom models. And I think it only ran for eight issues, I think. From uh, this is the first one, June 64 
to January 65 and then it was over uh, I don't know why but and I'm missing one issue I'm missing the October 64 issue uh, I had it but a good friend of mine when I lived down in Portland uh, needed it really bad so we did some horse trade and then I let him have it I don't have the complete set now but he's a pretty good friend so it's all good but we got to take a look at this real quick because it's really freaking cool magazine whoops sorry I just going through it and I thought man I gotta share this but look at the stuff on the cover there whoa hang on I don't know what happened there okay you guys still with me all right here we go we'll try it again but I love that color there the custom thing there's some more down there we'll just set this down here and see if we can go through it real quick just some ads advertising the magazine there's some cool hopefully it's all getting in camera pretty good advertising the uh, little t book 49 i think i could handle that and then there's some that's a cool car there a uh, guy in portland back in the 80s i don't that's when i seen the model uh, bob robinson built a model of that and uh, i mean it had working suspension and steering the wheel steered they steered with the steering wheel in the car it's just a phenomenal build uh guy was a crazy model builder but he built a model of that which is one of my favorite 40 uh customs let's get the old 57 out of the way there and you know there's the there's a man right there now this here let me show you that trophy i showed you a while back uh that's what they modeled it after there, and they're, they're showing it again. So, so this would be the second uh, National Rebel Contest. And uh, that model, I think I told you, where am I at here, is a replica of the model that won the first National Open Contest. And then they just uh, cast it, I don't know how they did it, and uh, put it on top of the trophy for the second year. So, anyway... A little history lesson on that but here's some cool stuff here there's the parts packs hopefully i don't bore you guys too much but i i really like looking at this stuff and i haven't looked at this magazine for a long time found them when i was uh, rearranging the other day yesterday when i was posting those uh videos here they're going to build a model of, with the big deuce of the uh, editor's car that he had in real life that's pretty cool. Tells you how to. This is just this is just part one. Got the frame done, and then here's some tips for modelers, which is kind of neat. Tells you how to do the front uh, front spoiler on the dragster there. Got that the Tony Nancy car, which is kind of cool. And what else we got here? Slot car stuff. I don't know if anybody out there is into slot cars. Uh, here's how to make uh, wire wheels. Now that looks like fun right there, don't it? Yeah. Yeah, we'll get right on that. Uh-huh. Yeah, a little above my pay grade on that. Here's a real drag car. Gaster looking thing. And like in the other model magazine I showed you, it tells you what you need to build a replica of that. I don't know what you do for the decals, but... Tells you what to do, and there's the monogram 55 kit that you use. And let's see what else we got here. You know, whenever you're in a hurry, the page never works. It's amazing. There it is in color. And then there's another one they're gonna do, and it shows you over here what they're doing and how they're doing it. That's kind of cool. I know I might be going fast, but I kind of want to go through this page by page because it's such a cool magazine. It probably tells them how they made the rod and custom, or maybe some guy painted it by hand. I don't know. We'll read it later. 
There's another slot car track you could get to think how cool that would be nowadays. There's some guys racing. I think that's the Bill Newman guy that's the editor, I think, of the magazine. Here's Scratch Booling a Bugatti. Making a wood buck and everything. Yeah, we'll get right on that one too. Yeah, and then here's a... They had drag racing in slot cars way back. Uh, I didn't know that. That's pretty cool. A 64 scale drag rules. And check it out, like, like a middle eliminator, 30 volts. A little eliminator, 20, where am I at? 24 volts. Top eliminator, you could have 36 volts. I mean, that's just, that's just cool. That's just really cool. Here's some guys getting the track ready, working on their cars. Ain't that cool? Hey, it gets cooler. Just bear with me, guys. It's worth it. I like this right here. The Hobby Show. What, what, what year are we again? June 64. This is the Chicago Hobby Show. Now, there's the silhouette. I'm sure we've all seen that. Five years old and still going strong. The 32 Ford Roadster kit. Look at that up there. I would like to have all of those. Not just one, but all of them. God, those are cool. Wish there was better pictures. And uh, there's some stuff that was coming out. Some slot car stuff. There's a, a rail thing. Another one there. And uh, I'm trying to do this and keep it in camera, but yet look at the pictures at the same time. Even though I've seen it, I skim through it, and I still get caught up in looking at it. There's some more stuff there. Look at that. Uh, little, there's a Roth car there. Look at that uh, diorama. Of a drag strip now is that cool or what that looks like a shop there and here's some more kits that are coming out a slot car and uh, slot cars and a vet drag racing stuff again and that there i don't know that oh, that's just so cool i don't know here's some more our slot car, some wheels, tires, tools. Uh, there's, I think that's Carl Casper. Is that what that is? Yeah. Did that kit there. And there's uh, accessory stuff. Paint. Those are just even cool. I mean, look at all this stuff. Whoops. Some stuff there. And uh, there. Old Rich, that's those mini men things and stuff. Look at that. Oh man, check those out. Little T. Yeah, that's cool. There's the monogram booth. Here's some of the monogram stuff. All the new stuff for 64. There's a 44 pickup we built. There's the little, uh, is that called the Blue Beetle or something like that? The Jaguar's pretty cool. Little coffin. Yeah. Cool stuff. Cool stuff. Hope you guys are enjoying. There's a going to monogram. Visit them. We'll do a little quick look at that stuff in their lobby. Wow. And just kind of give you a quick little view here how they're build stuff. Designing it and doing the molds and everything. Pretty pretty neat. And there's some more how they do it. Man, talk about intricate work. Look at that guy right there. Then you wind up. There's, uh, she's putting together models for their uh, displays. Like they would uh, make a little display with that model for hobby shops. To display it to get kids to buy the kit. So there's a guy here in Spokane that has three or four of the store displays. Uh, I don't know how you can find one now. Somebody remakes the the cardboard display that it sets in, 
and then you could build the kit and put in it but I don't know where you'd find an original one probably a lot of money too there's a replica of the Riverside Raceway there it is right there that's all gone now of course it's probably all houses and condos and stuff but there's some neat pictures of the track here yeah because uh, that's the only way you're going to see it now there's some more pictures telling you how to make make the bridge and display stuff at the track there it is right there the real one and here we got the Tony Nancy this double dragster kit I got a reissue of that I'll build it someday this isn't as bad as the orange crate for crazy hard to build detail stuff from Ravel but pretty neat kit and this magazine has color pictures look at that very nice very nice yeah what else we got here yeah there's just tons of good stuff in this okay so the winter nationals model car show check out some of these builds i wish these were in color look at that little race team there look at the crazy i can't do that to kids now chop them custom they cost so dang much when you screw up you're out 30 40 bucks Back then, you know, they were buck. Look at that thing, they were buck 98. There's a, a jet car, that's cool. Look at that. Look at that thing there. Man, they had imagination back then. Look at that one. That is cool. I love 40 Fords and a custom one. I got one I was trying to do. Maybe someday I'll show you. Well, I got a couple actually. I'll try showing you. One's kind of weird. Here's some more. You know, just kind of get your guys' uh, imagination juices going here. I mean, look at that thing there. That's uh, a backwards thing of some kind. I don't know what that is. Another 40 sedan. Check out the bug. That's cool. A couple more drag cars. That's a real nice one there. I mean, uh, there's a reminiscent of a uh, Ed Roth thing there. Kind of give you guys some ideas for that uh, Roth build that's going on, scratch build thing. There's a couple. There's a Jag. There's a Willys. Check out that thing. 99% uh, plastic and Bondo thing. <laughs> that is so cool. God, where did all these go? You can find stuff like this on eBay once in a while, but it's crazy money. Crazy, crazy money. Sketch pad, and then you can make the make the car there, which is kind of cool. It gives you some ideas there. Let me know, guys, if if, if you like looking at this, because I don't. I love sharing it with you, and it brings back memories and uh, makes me wish I was around back in the '60s, uh, building some of this stuff. Now that thing is cool. I think I've seen that one before in some other magazines. I think it was a pretty famous build. Look at that crazy thing there. Is that cool or what? There's your basic front engine rail. Uh, that one there I've seen before too. That's pretty cool. Got another shot of it. Look at that motorcycle. Wow. Nice little rail there. Yeah, this is cool stuff. Cool stuff. Thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Let's. I don't want to go too fast, but I don't want to keep you guys too long. But uh, there's making a how to build a scale Howard Woody. So it's what making it into a slot car or something. That must be what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing, but it gave me a pretty in depth uh, how to there. Which is kind of neat. Uh, just more of what they're doing. I mean, this is real in-depth. Oh, they're making it out of real wood, balsa wood. Wow. Uh, yeah, slot car. There's a slot right there. Wow, that's a lot of work. Look at this, man. Look at this. Let's get it up there and see it better. And then he goes around one corner on the slot track and flips it off the track and all that wood breaks off and it's a bunch of kindling. Yeah. I wouldn't race it after all that work. Anyway, all right, check it out. Model car spray booth. 
Yeah, check out that price. Now, if I could get one for two ninety eight, I do it. Of course, I won't. Like I said, I won't show you guys mine, but it's on the same lines as this, and it didn't cost anything uh, except the fan. But I already had that laying around too. But this is a neat little booth that you could buy. Pretty cool. And there it is, all set up, ready to paint. One of Mickey Thompson's cars in there, it looks like. Okay, we're getting to the end. There's question and answers. Everybody knows uh, Don Emmons guy. He was uh, quite the uh, model builder. Phil Jensen, I've heard of him. I think I don't know what kind of stuff he did, but there he is. There. Uh, who else do we got here? I mean, this is this isn't just one guy doing tips and tricks. It's like three guys. There's another one there. Uh, if you want to ask about model racing and there's some ads there we have the first annual hot rod magazine championship drag races look at that that is cool save two bucks all right here's some more auto modeling uh, tips and comments from a guy you know the slot racing here yeah, that's a whole nother world that if I had money I could get into, but I don't got the room or the money, so I gotta worry about that. And just some more ads, and there's the rest of that scratch building the Bugatti uh, thing. That looks like a lot of fun there. All right, we're at the end. There, and coming next month, if you guys want, we can look at the next one and see the finished or the part two of the uh, editor's real car replica thing there uh, so I don't sound like a total idiot let's go back and see if he's the editor or, or what what exactly is yeah yeah he's the editor right there so that's the guy that uh, they're building the model so he gets to do a model car magazine and he gets to drive a really cool hot rod so I mean don't get any better than that driving something really real like that around and playing with models yeah I could live with that all right guys I appreciate you looking at that with me I hope I don't bore you too much uh, hope you like the old 57 here I was gonna do a couple three vintage uh, survivor builds but I wanted to show you that hope you enjoyed it you know let me know in the comments what you think what you like what you don't like thumbs up thumbs down and uh, don't laugh but if I figured out what the little bell things for a few days ago so <laughs> I've been dinging everybody's bell lately and uh, uh, subscribing is still uh, blowing me away and I really appreciate it appreciate everybody the old subscribers and the new ones and the people just checking out my videos for the heck of it I appreciate it very much Everybody have a have a good week, and I'll uh, probably be posting something else in a day or two. Like I say, I'm having lots of fun doing this. Uh, building models is uh, is what I really enjoy. So everybody take care, and we'll talk at you later. Bye.